What's up guys, it's Atomic. Now I am cold, I am sick, I've got the sniffles, but I did just see Captain Marvel, so I figured I'd go ahead, let you guys know what I thought about the film, give you a little spoiler-free mini-review. So what did I think about Captain Marvel? Well, it was okay. And okay is the best that I can say about it. Uh, decent, okay, you know, if someone tells you that this was the worst film ever made, they're lying, but if someone says this is the best film they've ever seen, they're lying, okay, this was an average film at best, and honestly, in terms of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I think it was one of the weakest I put this, you know, I don't have a list of my top movies, but right now I'm putting this, you know, probably right around Doctor Strange levels. That's how I felt after I saw the movie. It was just kind of, eh. Now, what does that mean for Captain Marvel as a character? Well, look, I like Doctor Strange more after seeing Infinity War than I did after seeing the Doctor Strange movie. So, I guess there's room for growth, but this film, it just felt... You know, by the book, predictable, and nothing of consequence really happened. You know, I really only went to go see it because I wanted to be caught up before Endgame. I also went to see it just because I happened to be off work. And honestly, uh, I was surprised that the theater was so empty. You know, this is a big Marvel film opening night. I figured it would have been a packed house. But no, plenty of seats available. Uh, you know, theater wasn't even, I saw it at like 10 o'clock at night. Uh, theater wasn't even half full. Probably only a quarter of the theater was filled. And, you know, forget any kind of controversy and any kind of agenda, this and that. I just wanted to see a good film. And like I said, all I got in return was an average film. Now, to be fair, I'm not a comic book fan, and I'm not the biggest fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, you know, maybe the more of a fan you are, the more you would have liked this film. But for me, nothing stood out. There's no, nothing memorable happened in this film. You know, there were some attempts at comedy. I thought they kind of fell flat. You know, the funniest part of the film is a cat, so... That goes to tell you, and honestly, if the film didn't have Nick Fury, uh, I don't know what would have happened, because I'm not going to say he stole the show, not by any means, because like I said, everything was just kind of average, but him lending his credibility, you could say, you know, at least helped make it feel like, okay, well, this is part of the MCU. You know, otherwise... You know, it almost seems like, you know, the film is set in 1995. It almost seems like this film should have been made in 1995. I don't know. It was just, like I said, it wasn't compelling, at least not for me. The action, you know, I didn't think there was enough action, to be honest. I was going to say, you know, nothing really stood out, like I said before, and it really didn't. Uh... Anything else I could say would just be nitpicking, and like I said, I don't want to give away any spoilers or anything like that. Uh, I was kind of disappointed, especially me. Like I said, I'm not a comic book fan. I'm pretty sure they changed things around a little bit, but how Captain Marvel becomes Captain Marvel uh, kind of glossed over. You know, how did she get these powers? You know, oh, I just you know shoot this thing, absorb this energy, and... All of a sudden, I'm one of the, if not the most powerful superhero in the universe. And that's another thing, too. Uh, when you have someone like Captain Marvel who has, you know, super strength, uh, they can fly, they can shoot this energy from their hand. The entire movie, there was never any vulnerability, at least I didn't feel, you know, nothing vulnerable. You never felt like Captain Marvel was in peril. And I think, you know, without that, uh, you know, where with no vulnerability, it's just not as compelling. So if you guys, when you see the film, you can let me know what you think. Let me know 
where I'm right, where I'm wrong. Uh, like I said, I thought this was average at best. And honestly, if this wasn't part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I don't think anyone would care. It's a very, you know, like I said, forgettable film. Here, I want it to be caught up for Endgame, and it's not really necessary. All you have to know is that there's a superhero named Captain Marvel. She's the most powerful superhero there is. Uh, you know, there's a couple end credit scenes. You know, the one way at the end of the credits, just a little comedy thing. And slight spoiler if you don't want to know, but the uh, mid credits uh, scene, it's just letting you know that Captain Marvel got the message and, you know, she's there. So we'll see what happens in Endgame. Uh, you know, like I said, th her powers, uh, they weren't even, like I said, they weren't explained well. It's just, oh, I can do this, I can do this, I can do everything now. It's... Uh, We'll see how it all plays out, but I think this film is definitely a skip. Like I said, one of the weaker, if not the weakest, film yet in the MCU. And that doesn't mean that there's no future, because like I said, my feelings with Doctor Strange. Didn't care for that film, ended up liking them in Infinity War. So we'll see what the future has to say with Captain Marvel. For right now, uh, you know, I don't regret seeing the film, but I think I would have rather went, like, on a discount day rather than opening night. But, hey, it is what it is. So that's it for me, guys. Thanks for checking in. I'm sure if you have any thoughts, or even if you're watching this video, it's probably not until after you've seen the movie yourself. So let me know what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? I haven't even looked at what other people are saying. I didn't read any reviews beforehand. I wanted to go into it blind. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I definitely wasn't impressed. Average at best. All right, guys, thanks for checking in. I will see you in the next video.